So this is ring delay. I'm going to walk through a couple of the features real quickly and give you a sense of what it sounds like. Um, there are two different operational modes. Uh, so the first one allows you to... Let me back up. It's a multi-tap uh, delay that uses uh, ring modulation to create different harmonies and atonal sounds. Um, there are three different delays that each have their own ring mod that can be pitched differently. Um, so right now I have everything set in the key of E, and I was playing an E, which is kind of harmonic. But if I slip out of E, it becomes much more atonal. Uh, you can set the clock divisions of the delay lines. One of the delay lines is always tied to the tap tempo, but the other two can have different uh, clocks. And you can also have the ring mods pitch track if you press the middle stomp switch. turning down the feedback. If you do that, you set the intervals uh, for the, the first delay line tracks uh, the pitch of, of the input signal. And the other two, which correspond again to the left and right, track intervals. So A1 is an octave above whatever I play, uh, and E3 is two octaves and a fifth above whatever I play. Um, and you can also change the order in which, uh, using this button, you can change the, the position from which uh, the output is taken. Either it's taken from the uh, ring mod or it's taken from the delay line. We've been hearing the delay line. If you change it to the ring mod, it becomes a playable synth uh, using the ring mod voices. And you also have access to this control here, which allows you to set slew or portamento between the notes. That's not active when pitch, uh, pitch tracking is off. Um, there's a mix control, a feedback control, and then a feedback path control and what that allows you to do is send the feedback paths of the different delays into one another so that they cross feed. When it's at zero, the delays feed back into themselves. And when it's at uh, one, they feed back only into other delays, uh, which will eventually lead them to feed back into themselves, but not immediately. When it's in the middle, they're feeding back at, at, at about this setting, they're feeding back to all of the delay lines equally. Um, so this allows different harmonies and arpeggios to, to take shape. It, it becomes much more apparent if I get off key and throw in, I keep coming up with some random notes. <laughs> Each time it cycles through, there are new harmonies created as the ring modulation responds to different pitches. Um, there's a panning section, which allows you to, to pan the voices. Right now they're, they're panned all the way uh, hard left and hard right with the, the uh, first voice being straight down the middle. Um, which is kind of cool, but you can also add a, a random panning element. And what this does is, is the, the pan spread will determine the range of the panning that's randomly uh, assigned. 
and I don't know how well this will come across in the phone, but the voices spread out all across the stereo field at that point, and you can narrow it too if that's too much for you, if you decrease the, the pan spread. There's also a pan slew that becomes active when the random panning is engaged, which allows you to uh, slow down the transition between random points. So when there's no slew applied, it goes dot, 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 dot. But when the slew is applied, they slide across one another. And then there's a final section up here, which is you can change the duty cycle. Um, and with a sine wave, sorry, that was me hitting a fret. More distortion is introduced. You can also modulate this. Um, there's a depth and a rate control. And I'll show normal operation first. It uses a sine wave because I liked that springy quality. Um, but if you push the rate, I pressed the wrong thing. If you push the depth, you can push the rate. But if you push the depth, in a lot of my controls, I put in governing principles that keep the modulation within zero and one. Uh, this one doesn't have that. It's sort of a happy accident that I was playing around with it and discovered that if you modulate above and below zero, it creates sort of interesting uh, rhythmic elements to the modulation. I'm going to slow that down a little bit. keep pressing the wrong thing. I want this rate control. So as it goes uh, above and below uh, zero and one, uh, there's no motion, you know, so it has sort of periods where, where the modulation moves and then stops and moves and stops. Which is pretty cool, I think. Um, and you can combine all of these things. Last thing I'll say is that I'm releasing a bunch of different versions because I couldn't decide which one I like best. I think I like the sign best, but all of the different uh, waveforms have their own benefits. Uh, if the sign sounds kind of like bells, the triangle sounds a little bit like a harpsichord. Uh, the square wave and the sawtooth wave have more uh, distorted elements. Um, so yeah. You know, you can try them out or not, uh, and decide if you like them or not. Uh, but that's Ring Delay. <laughs>